So here he is, the number one middleweight contender getting set for this 185 pound title fight. He believes this title shot should have come a long time ago. But he has let bygones be bygones. The focus now on seating the champion in dominant fashion and starting a new middleweight legacy of his own. 25 minutes or fewer away from becoming the new champion. We will see how he performs tonight. martial arts athletes of all time and in order to preserve that goal this is a title defense simply put that he's got ahead take for this middleweight championship fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Middleweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a judo fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the challenger, Bruce, it's time to And now, introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 24 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world, Israel the last UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch gloves, and we are underway. You ready? most well-rounded fighter in this division. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon. Because that one skill he has is so good that you're, un you're in danger the entire time. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. What a punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. 
All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Just over three minutes to go. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, single collar tie here. Wow, huge head kick. Big leg kick land. Big left. Oh, beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game, not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong striker who is very dangerous with all limbs. Yeah, and when you're standing with Izzy, you're in trouble, man. You're under constant attack the whole time because you never know what he's going to hit you with. And right there, he landed the strike that he was looking for. Big kick. And he landed the right hand there. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Buffer's knee strike there is blocked, so no damage inflicted. Big punch land. Oh, oh. oh straight right. Just over 20 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. 15 seconds to go. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Man, look at him load up on that right. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be over the How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Outstanding kick there by Buffer. Try to establish that jab. Just over three minutes to go. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Blocks the shot. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Separate. That one appeared to stun him. He's in trouble. He's hurt 
Man. Oh, he might be out. Slips the punch. Adesanya gets in the clinch yet again. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big calls to punch lands. Now we get back to ring. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Hartwell, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. Here we go, third round of this championship. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that pivot. Not there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. to avoid that left. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He has a commitment to kicking tonight and it shows. Go finish this fight. Israel Adesanya goes for the clinch here, and this is just a means by which to recover. He is stuck. Pretty simple. Well, to the left side. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. So hard, he kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. All right, he engages in the single collar tie, and they separate. They continue to exchange. <laughs> and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick, he did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Just missed with the left there. Buffer gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Adesanya gets caught with that punch. Beautiful leg kick run. Oh! Lose hurt. Serve him up. Go we'll get him. Flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Oh, straight right. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, man. That's, you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that. Oh, I did because I have time grabbing kick like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight.
All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nice punch there. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. And he continues to work the body here. Kick attempt, it's blocked. Oh, what a punch. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. I mean, he's cutting it out the side with his beautiful leg kick. Israel Adesanya's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. It and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Buffer. Strike to the oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Big body to land. as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. Breathe. Let's recover. You lost that last round. You're losing the fight. We have five minutes to get this victory. For All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he would set down to the strike that was really damaging his opponent. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Just misses there with the left. Well, looks as though his leg, you can even see him limping a little bit. Ooh, what a punch. Nice body kick. Got the single collar tie. Right hand punch with the clinch. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Under three minutes now to go round five.
Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that strike. That is it. Oh! Woo! <laughs> Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that. And there is the UFC middleweight champion of the world. He likes the sound of that. And how good was that performance here tonight as he gets the stoppage by TKO. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Contest at two minutes, 16 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO. And still. So who's next, he says, as he celebrates in the corner after successfully defending his UFC middleweight championship here tonight. Not only does he get the job done, but he gets the finish that had eluded him previously, a win by TKO for him here tonight. And he goes out the same way he came in.